Hi everyone! This week we are getting started with week seven. It's hard to believe that we're already in week seven of the class, but here we are. Um, so this week we are going to continue working on the project, labor number three project that we started last week, which asks us to think a little bit about um, a career path. And this week we will be working on interview questions. So I just went ahead and clicked over to the labor number three project handout. I'm going to scroll down to week seven. There we go. I've got some things for you to read from various job sites and a video for you to watch from indeed.com. And then this week we're going to do a little bit of writing in our discussion board about our most memorable interview experiences. Um, so if we click over to that, we can see a little bit about, I just kind of want you to think about a job interview that you've had or an interview that you've had uh, where the experience or question was particularly memorable, um, whether for good or bad reasons, and for you to think about it a little bit from both perspectives, both as the interviewee, the person being interviewed, and now from the interviewer's perspective. So we'll do that for Wednesday's discussion. Um, and then for the assignment due on Sunday, we're going to work on labors number 3C and 3D. So if we scroll up here, the first 3C is identifying questions you think you might get asked during an interview and answer them. So this is to help you prepare for the inter an interview that you identified with the employer in our discussion prompts from last week. Um, so then I want you to do some research and identify at least 10 potential questions you may get asked during a business interview. And then once you've identified those questions, answer, answer them as you would in an oral interview situation. While writing the responses, be sure to ask the so what or answer the so what question. Um, so if you're saying you're a hard worker, so what? What does that mean? How does that translate into um, being a good employee or being able to do the job well? And then the second part of the assignment is 3D. Identify, identify questions you would want to ask a future employer and why. So you've already identified the potential employer in part A last week. So we're going to identify 10 potential questions you may want to ask. Uh, please be specific and identify who your audience is when you're asking certain questions. So you may be wanting to ask questions about HR or a manager or other employees. So be sure that's clear. Once you've identified the questions, describe in detail what you're hoping to gain by learning the answers to each specific question. So if you ask about the products the company makes, tell me why this is important to you. Um, and so that's how we're going to wrap up this week. You do have the option to do an additional labor um, to work towards increasing your baseline B, and that is to record a flip grid of yourself responding to one of the interview questions in Part C. And I have the Flipgrid um, link here for you if you choose to do that. That is due Sunday by 11.59 p.m. So that's what we're doing this week. If you have questions, feel free to jump on to one of the three optional student Zoom meeting hours each week or shoot me an email.